Hey everybody, it's Missy Wolf, and we are back at CRS 50. Happy Valentine's Day, What's Lewis about? Bryce. How are you? I'm doing awesome. How are you doing? I'm doing well. Look at who I get to spend my Valentine's Day with. Oh, it's fantastic. Sure, man. That's my pleasure. I love <laughs> it. So you were just in Puerto Rico again recently, weren't you? I was. I went down there. My good buddy John was in Satterfield, and um, uh, they're, they're doing some other they're doing some other Hope Song stuff down there, mm -hmm. and uh, other other research. So Puerto Rico is awesome. I'm actually going to go back there soon here in a couple a couple weeks. Um, I'm so jealous. Yeah, I, I do get. I'm sorry, but I do. Get Get to go to Mexico next week. I'm I so know. dreading it. Not really, but seriously. I know. Every time I talk to you, you get to travel there, but you're doing it for good. I am. I love that. Yeah, we're going to Isla Mujeres next week. Um, it's for the uh, Island Times Music Festival. I've been doing that for a couple years. Somehow I've been part of and elected to the group of the godfathers of the whole festival. So uh, me, and myself, John Stone, Nick Norman, and Joel Rush. And, I don't know how we did it, but we did. But it's, yeah. it's a great festival. It goes for a good cause. It's, um, all the proceeds go to Little Yellow Schoolhouse. Yeah. And so it's just an organization. They um, they started it down there because the government doesn't really have great funding for right. uh, uh, special needs kids. So they do all, and all, the fun, all the proceeds go to that. So. I love it. And I just love that you support you know, this cause over and over and over. And it just warms my heart every time I, I get to hear you talk about it. And you know, it's just, it's really fun. And you have a song called Blessed. I do. And I'm like, oh my God, it's just perfect. <laughs> it's perfect because I feel like by doing that, by going and supporting that that group, that cause, that you really are blessed and you're blessing others. So mm -hmm. what an amazing song. What, what made you write that? Oh man, that song really is awesome. It's one of my favorite songs I've ever been a part of. Um, I got the idea a couple years, about a year and a half ago. Um, I, I, I grew up spending every Thanksgiving my entire life at home in South Carolina with my family and with my brother and everybody. Uh, about a year and a half ago, or so I started dating this girl and uh, lovely lady Danielle. Happy Valentine's Day! Happy Valentine's uh, Day! Thanks for letting me steal him for a few. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, we, we went we went to Texas to go see her family for once, and so. Uh, I was out there and I had a great time. Her family's amazing. I had a great time out there, but I kept getting pictures and stuff of my family back in South Carolina. So I was a, I was a little homesick. Uh, yeah. But in a sense, I, when I started thinking about it, I was like, even though I was home, I was like, I have something to be homesick for, you know. Yeah. And so um, I wrote a song. I was like, man, I'm, I'm really blessed to have that because not a lot of people do. Right. And so and I was still in good family, good care, and stuff like that. And I was like, and, and now I started thinking, I was like, my life in general. I was kind of having a little epiphany moments, I guess. And I was like. I get to play music for a living and do what I love to do. I was like, I really am blessed. And I was like, I was like oh, it's got to be a song idea. So I called my producer, Ben, and I was like, hey, man, we got to get this song written like yesterday. Yeah. And so it's a song blessed. Give me a little track kind of idea going there. Well, I'll see you next week. We'll get it done. And so the next week, we got in there and started writing. My buddy Nick Norman was in town, and um, he's one of the other writers on it. But he had a little bit of a different story of the way he was blessed. Okay. Uh, he escaped Key West, Florida from the hurricane. Oh. And they, he couldn't go back home because they wouldn't let people back in the Key West. Right, so, right, right. <laughs> yeah, so he was he was in the area, and uh, so so his thing. But he got up here safely with his family. So to good. him, that was his blessing. that was his blessing, you know. Yeah. And so it came out really good. We got it done. That kind of like my first song, "Best X Ever," kind of got a ball of wax moving with momentum with music. Right. Um, I, we wrote this song, and I sent it to my brother, and he was like, "Man, we got we got to get all these recorded now." And so we did it, and now. The web is spun, and now we're just I love it. We're blessed. <laughs> I love it, and I love that you get to work with your brother too. Mm -hmm. And I love that, you know, you you guys are completely different, but that you can work really, really, really well together. Oh yeah. And I absolutely love that you had that four generation picture at the game. Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I saw that picture, and the smiles on your guys' faces. It was, it was just infectious. It, oh, it was. It was one of those times. Like it's one of those events you'll never ever, you know, you can't get it back. And right. So I, we're there. My it was like my dad. Dad, my brother and me, and then my nephew, Dakota. So, and we were there, and and not only was it a great experience having right. them because you can't get that back, but we also stomped a mud hole in Alabama. I know you left did. No questions that Clemson is number one. Absolutely, absolutely. <laughs> it was it was fun to see that, and you know, because we just recently had Super Bowl as well. Like everybody's yep. just been on cloud nine because of the. I'm sorry if you're not a Patriots fan. Okay, hey, you know I'm what? sorry. Don't hate me. Hey, you know what? But, I'll say it. I pulled for Brady. Go ahead. I pull for the Patriots. You know what? Everybody says 
why not? He's right. he really is awesome. He, yeah. I mean, how many people win six Super Bowls? Exactly, and, <laughs> and I'm just gonna say it because this was my first official year picking for a fantasy team, mm -hmm. and I scored Tom Brady and the Patriots defense because I picked. Well, duh. Apparently, I picked those two first because I was like, I don't want anybody else to take them. But he's the reason why I'm not in you know last place this year. <laughs> <laughs> but no, let's talk about your music though again. And what else you got coming up? I know you're performing. You've performed at Tin Roof. Yep, and, we, did, we did that last night. Yeah. We got um, this. Week weekend actually it kind of starts my, my my tour for the year we, right. uh, we go off uh, to California this weekend San Diego San Diego yeah. I know I'm so jealous my playing, cousin lives there yeah we're playing Moonshine Beach we'll tell your cousin to come out I'm, I'm going we're, to we're Moonshine Beach and the Moonshine Flats on Saturday then we go to LA uh, the place called Bordner's uh, yep. and that in LA then fly from there to Mexico so I'm there for a minute well, yeah and then we got after that we got a couple shows we go to Charleston right. we go um then we're going to Florida going to Georgia right. and then I go to Europe for the very first time this year Oh, I'm you're the second the, person that's told me that today. I, I've never been. I've never been either. So oh. but I finally I always talked about my music going to take me places. Yeah. It's finally taking me across oh. the pond. So that's I'm a, so cool. I'm really excited about that. And do you have plans for another Louis Palooza this year? I do. Louis Palooza number nine. I, I'm right. pretty sure. So I get back from Europe on June 3rd. Uh -huh. And that Tuesday is June 4th, if I'm not mistaken. And yes, yeah, what Louis Palooza is. So I get to fly straight back from Europe. Oh, <laughs> you're going to be tired. I heard jet lag is something I'm, I'm going to find out <laughs> something about. So You must be getting some sleep on that plane. Oh, I'll be good. I, I heard that you drink a lot of water. Just drink right? a lot of water. Right. We'll, we'll see. Well, I will make sure that we are there if we can be because we had such a good time with you last year. Oh, and we have a good time every year. It's I, awesome. I know. And I just love everything that you're doing. And, and honest to God, just for selfish reasons, personally, thank you so much for helping the, the, the cause with the special needs kids because yep. I have a son who's special needs and my situation's totally different. Right. And I get it. But you know what you're paying attention and you're using what god gave you for the greater good and that just makes me so happy to see and i wish there was more of that in the world and kudos to you and all of your <laughs> friends that are a part of it as well and just thank you for being here is there anything else you want to tell fans before we go well yeah just go check out my stuff lewisbrice.com i got a hope and i'm gonna have not only blesses out right now the video comes out next week i don't know if i can say it but billboard is going to premiere it next week on nice. the 21st for the video for blessed and then 22nd it'll about be out for everywhere and then also, um, uh, oh yeah, I'm gonna have a new I'm gonna have a new single coming out actually around the summertime, around April. Oh, so okay. it's called Summertime Vibes. We'll have to get that going. So and I'm gonna have music coming out all year. All right. Well, you guys heard him, so stay tuned for more music. Be sure to head over to his fake Facebook and social media everywhere you go. Check it um, out. So there's a lot of stuff going on behind the camera, and I was a little bit distracted. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But uh, until next time, guys, we'll see you soon. See ya. Thank you everyone for tuning into our coverage of CRS 50. Special thanks to the Cosmo Cowgirl for the fun wardrobe she provided. For more clothes, you can find them at facebook.com slash the Cosmo Cowgirl. You are going to love them. Be sure to check out facebook.com slash Center Stage Mag every Monday at 4 p.m. Central for Center Stage Live at the 615 Hideaway, where we bring you live music and fun interviews. For more artist coverage, please check us out at centerstagemag.com. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on social media at the following links.